Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to record a macro, and edit it for our application. Let's see the application first. Here, I have a macro tab, and from there I will launch my car design application. The customized application opens, wherein I can select the type of car. And I can enter the basic values for my car, like wheelbase, track width, and wheel radius. Now, I will click the create car button, and a basic car with my customized values will be created. The entire process to generate car body and wheels is completely automated. The sedan car is modeled by the application, using extrude and cut extrude features. Let's start, first we will add the macro tab as shown. Click on customize command manager and select new tab. Then select macro from it. We now have the macro commands. Click on record pause macro. Select front plane and draw the approximate sketch of a car. Create a complete closed profile. Using extrude command. Now, click on the stop macro button. We will now save our just recorded file. Again, go to Macro tab, and click on Edit Macro. Open the just recorded macro. We see some code which is generated, in SOLIDWORKS VBA language. We identify different sections of code corresponding to different commands. Here, this command is to select front plane and create sketch on it. These commands are for creating lines, where each line is an edge of this car. We analyze the structure of code for a simple line. Six inputs are required which correspond to 3D coordinates of line as shown. Next we analyze the boss extrude feature, which is of our concern. It is a very complex code, which requires lots of inputs. We will concentrate on this input, which is the length of boss extrude. We will change this value, make it 10 times and try to run the code, to confirm it. We see the extrusion value has changed by 10 times. Now, we will change the codes. We will enter variables instead of values. We will enter all the coordinates in multiple of these variables. Here, I have introduced x len as x coordinate variable, and y len as y coordinate variable. All the points are defined using these two variables. The z coordinate is always zero as we are sketching on x y plane. As we can see, the first coordinate is zero 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 and so is the last point, to create closed profile. Now, we will create a form. Right click on module and insert a new user form as shown. The form will be used to assign the variable's input values. Click on label, and then create a label in the form. We create label for writing some text to indicate something. It has no function. Next, we will create a text box besides it.
Similarly, we create other two labels and text boxes. Lastly, we will create a button from the toolbox as shown. Now, we will need to link these text boxes and button with the macro code. The text boxes are named as text box 1, 2, and 3 respectively. We will need these names further in the code. Click on macro module to access the code. Here, we will make some changes. We will assign the variable x len the value, which is the input of text box 1. Follow the code closely as shown. Similarly, we will declare y len as value of text box 2. and zlen as value of text box 3. We access the required text box through its parent, which is user form 1. I forgot to declare these variables. The variables and their type can be declared by using the code dim, as shown. We will declare them as double, which means they can be any decimal value. Also, I had missed to add zlen variable for boss extrude, I will add it as shown. Please observe carefully as I create a sub. A sub in programming is a set of codes or procedure which gets executed. Here, I have two subs now, first one is main sub, and second one is create car. I am using the first sub to show the user form, it is a very simple code. Each sub ends by end sub code. Now, I will again go to the user form, double click on button to enter the code in it. Here, I will simply write a code to call the create car sub from main module as shown. It can be little difficult to understand this all at once, but once understood, it is very simple. Now, I will run the code using run button as shown. We see the user form appearing, where we can enter some values. And click on button to execute the extrude command. The user form and functionalities can be further enhanced, and a complete car creation application can be made. This is my code of the complete car application, wherein I have created a combo box to select a sedan car or SUV car. I have shared a link in the description from where this car application macro can be downloaded. Please like, comment and share. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming fun videos. Thank you.